What's going on everyone? So recently I had a little bit of time to catch up on some stuff. So I got caught up on my writing. I got caught up on my reading. And one thing that I was asked about is with me sharing books I either buy on Amazon or books I buy from Barnes & Noble, do I ever buy anything from my local bookstores? And the truth is there are two bookstores in my area that have new and used books. Unfortunately, I don't go to those as often as I go to Barnes & Noble or Amazon. I know I've had some people ask, well, why do you do that? Why are you always... And the thing is, as an independent author, some of my books are on Amazon. Some of my other writing people that I know that are also independent authors, the books are on Amazon. So that's why you always see the Amazon packages when I do unboxing videos. Barnes & Noble is just the most accessible place for me to go to. And I don't mean, oh, it's a bigger store or anything like that. I mean, I pass by it almost every day. So on my end, it's just easier to go in there, pick up a book or pick up a movie and go there. But I did have a couple days off and one of my local bookstores, I did want to check and see if they had some stuff and they did. So that is what I am showing off. For those that do not know, the 434 in Writer 434 is the area code for where I live. And before anyone starts Googling it up, I live in Central Virginia. So one of the bookstores near me is Bookshop on the Avenue. And I went in there, just wanted to look around, see what all they had. And someone else, one of my supporters mentioned that she got a couple of movies over there for a cheap price. So I went over there to see if I could buy some books to show off on here, as well as show off some movies to show off on Let's Watch a Movie. By the way, I will have a pinned comment down below for anyone that wants to see the movies I picked up. Anyway, I'm sure that a lot of you are wanting me to shut up and show off the books I bought. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show off what I got. Uh, the first one is the 10th anniversary edition of 13 Reasons Why. So, I picked this one up because I forget if it was a Big Lots haul or a Dollar Tree haul. But over on Let's Watch a Movie, you'll see that I bought the first season of 13 Reasons Why on DVD. And the book was something I wanted to check out at one point in time, and I forget why I never bought the book. But I was here, they had it, so I was like, all right, I need to check this out. And you know, now I have a chance to actually sit down and read it. So I picked it up. Uh, the bonus stuff that's in the deluxe edition is an introduction from Jay Asher, the author, some deleted scenes, and the original ending for the book. And I think that was it. I don't know if there's anything in here talking about the TV show or not. I just now opening it for the first time, so I am Looking forward to reading this. One of the things I have been toying with is doing a series where I talk about both a book and a movie or a book and a TV show for anyone that would like to see those videos. Two part question. One, do you want those videos? And two, where do you want them at? Do you want them over here on Writer434 or do you want them over on Let's Watch a Movie? For those that are not subscribed to Let's Watch a Movie, I do want to give everyone the forewarning now. 
Things are a little different over on Let's Watch a Movie than they are over here. Over here, a lot of people like the longer videos, me just talking to everyone. Over there, I'm loud. The videos are shorter than they are over here. So keep in mind all of that stuff when you're figuring out where you would like these if you want these videos. But I can definitely do one on 13 Reasons Why because I do own the first season. Uh, to my knowledge, seasons two and three don't really follow the book. So I'm only going to talk about season one. All right, I picked up one more book when I was at Bookshop on the Avenue. And with this one, I had to pick it up for a couple of reasons. One, it's my favorite author. Two, I do not have this book in hardcover. And three, as I found out, I don't have just this book. I have a combo pack of this book. Not only that, but I managed to get it for $4.95. And that is A Nuncy Boys from Neil Gaiman. Let me show you how long ago this book was published, or this version. Yeah, it's been a while for any of my fellow Neil Gaiman fans since th this particular version came out. Uh, for the record, yes, I have read this book. I love it. It's not quite American Gods for me, but it is pretty high up on the list. I've got the Barnes & Noble combo, like, coffee table sort of book, I guess, that has both American Gods and Anunsi Boys. So this is my first time having just Anunsi Boys in hardcover. So that was really, really cool to be able to find this just sitting on a shelf at a local bookstore. So here are my two pickups as far as books go from when I went to my local bookstore, Bookshop on the Avenue. I will have a pinned comment down below with a couple of links. The first one will be for the video that shows off the movies that I bought when I was at Bookshop on the Avenue. The second link will be for the various social media links for Bookshop on the Avenue for anyone that lives in the same area as me that would like to check them out. And as always, if you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below what did you think of my pickups and what books have you recently bought at your local bookstore? But that is going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching and I will catch you on the next one.